I am here at this little man-made pond and I have my jar with me because I am trying to make an ecosphere. Now I know that in this pond in the summer there's a lot of a lot of life. Right now it's winter, but I think that there will be at least some snails and hopefully some algae in water and maybe even some dormant Daphnia eggs or other little crustacean eggs. So I'm going to get some dirt and uh, some water and hopefully make a successful ecosphere. So I'm going to try and grab some dirt. And some more water. It should be enough. Now I have a jar full of sand and water. Um, it's really cloudy right now. So the little sand particles and dust particles in the water need to settle down. Which takes a few hours, maybe even some days. So uh, in the meantime I'm going to explain you a little bit about how, um, how an ecosystem works. So the idea behind a closed ecosystem or ecosphere is they're supposed to uh, grow algae and uh, growing algae produce oxygen and need carbon dioxide. The animals that live uh, inside of the ecosystem uh, uh, need the oxygen and produce carbon dioxide and produce waste which in turn the, the algae used to grow and uh, the little animals can eat the algae. So. Uh, that way there's a cycle in which uh, each living organism, so algae and, and uh, little animals, uh, sustain one another. So there's, a, there's really an ecosystem. It's the next day and uh, the water has cleared up pretty nicely. And this jar is just full of life, even, even more than I ho hoped for to be honest. Uh, so let's take a look and see what we got. So there are all, all these tiny little balls swimming around really fast. There's a lot of them in there. I think they're ostracods. And there's a lot of these tiny, tiny, tiny little ostracods. Um, we also have uh, cyclops. That's a cyclops right there. Um, let me see if I... Uh, you can see better with a magnifying glass. That right there is a a cyclops and even more tiny balls, ostracods. That right there is a Daphnia. There's a there's maybe ten of them in there. So that right there is a little baby snail. Uh, I saw a bigger one too, uh, I can't find it right now, but all these, all these tracks, spores are from the, from the bigger snail. These worms here, there are two, two tiny, really long, well there's actually more than two, tiny, long, thin, white worms. Uh, I'm pretty sure those are nematodes. Yeah, those are. Uh, I think those are nematodes. And there's an. What's that? There's actually a lot of nematodes. I found the big snail. It was uh, on this leaf. So I don't know if you can see this, but there's a bigger snail. There's, I don't know what that is. Mm, that's really interesting. It's fast. Maybe that's a, an adult ostracot maybe, I don't know. There's another nematode on the left. Hmm. Very cool. That right there is a copepod. It's 
very, very tiny. And over here, another baby snail and another one. Really tiny baby snail. Another Daphnia in the back. And uh, some, car some kind of worm too. I don't know what this is. It's a worm, that's for sure. Maybe it's a baby leech. Could be. That's pretty much everything uh, I've spotted. Oh, wait, what's this? Another, uh, another type of worm. A lot of worms. I don't see that much algae growing. There are microalgae in the in water for sure, but not really big algae that I can see. Um, so it it, it will be interesting to see if if some some algae naturally grow. I hope so. Um, if not, I don't I don't want to kill all the all the animals living inside of here. So. I might just consider adding uh, some algae from my fish tank in here so so all the animals in here have a source of oxygen and uh, and something to eat. I'm not sure though if I'm going to do that. So that pretty much wraps this video up. Uh, I am going to make update videos on, on this ecosphere because I'm really interested to see if if something new develops and if well how long this ecosphere will survive um, so if you're interested in ecospheres if you want to see more ecospheres and if you don't want to miss out on uh, on, on the update videos uh, well you're going to have to subscribe that's it thanks for watching